Yes. This is your home. I've brought you home. This is where you live. Is it? How the old place has changed. What do you mean? I've never been here before in my life. How did I get here? I, I drove you here in the car. Uh, that was extremely kind of you. <laughs> but why? Because you live here. But I don't live here. Well, how was I to know that? I found you about two o'clock this morning. You were very tight. You were in the middle of Piccadilly Circus, trying to bathe in a fountain that wasn't there. Was I? Yes. As I said before, you were very tight. I said, you can't bathe in that fountain. It isn't there. Uh, and nobody but a drunken man would try to do it. You're quite right. Well, what do we do then? We both put on our clothes again. <laughs> uh, and then I lost you. The, the next time I saw you was in the Purple Lobster. Oh? Was I there? No. That's funny, I thought it was me. Well, so it was. Because don't you remember, coming out you didn't see the stairs. And as I was helping you to your feet, you dropped me. <laughs> and then came the pink elephant. Did you see that too? No, it's a nightclub. Oh, yes, of course. And then I lost you again. Uh, w weren't you rather careless with me last night? <laughs> careless? <laughs> I'd like to have known where you'd have been if I hadn't kept perfectly sober. Sober? <laughs> when we got in the taxi, you were so tight, you sat your cigar on the seat and threw yourself out of the window. <laughs> and the last I saw of you, you had your head on the doorstep, you asked me to call you at eight and you were crying because you couldn't get your watch under the pillow. <laughs> Calling me about being sober is Nonsense. ridiculous. I never saw you again until I found you leaning up against the car fast asleep. So I went through your pockets, found your address, put you in your car and drove you home. Put me in my what? In your car. This isn't my car? Well, whose is it? I don't know. <laughs> isn't it yours? No. You've pinched it, my lander. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. I saw you leaning up against it, so I thought it was yours. And brought it away. I wish I'd been leaning up against the Bank of England. <laughs> well... You've carried out your threat. What threat? You've had your bust. Yeah, but I haven't got over the itch. Oh. There you go again. What do you mean? I very much regret to state I heard you drop an aspirate. No doubt a case of mental aberration. Though I may drop an H or two, I'd like to say I've had, like you, a public school and college education. No doubt it was at Harrow where your schoolboy days were spent. Well, I'll tell you where I went to if you'll tell me where you went. Well, I went to Eton. I went to Boston. There are a couple of fine old schools. Boston and Eton, they can't be beaten if you're looking for men, not fools. Now, I took a scholarship at work I excelled. I took a money box and I got expelled. Hats off to Eaton. Fruits off to Boston. There are a couple of fine old schools.